is so loud. Why is her iPad so loud? <sighs> Give me a second. I gotta put my sweater on. Um, I decided to just hit record and then <laughs> and then work on it. Um. Amani, baby, put your headphones on. It's too loud. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to um, do some reading today. I was supposed to like pre-read it. Um, and it's uh, essentially going to be my Black History Spotlight. I said I wasn't going to do it, but my Black History Spotlight and the content for today's video just, you know, was at my doorstep. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Was waiting for me at my do doorstep when I finished yesterday's video. Um, so while I get that together, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my morning. So, you know, I got up, I didn't get up to, um, well, yeah, I kind of did. I, I woke up this morning, I was up late working on my, um, I got the Gemini Naturals, I put a little more purple rain in there. I was up late working on my link page and um, I'm thinking this is like a part two because I did do a video showing you what's really going on in my link page. And um, I uh, just, I like this one. Um, I still hear Frozen in the background. Um, and at the bo very bottom of my link page is something that I want you all to go. Go to the link in my bio right now. It's scrolled. Skip everything. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and watch the video and tell me, like, give it, I'm going to give it less than 60 seconds after you watch this video and actually do it. Just, you're going to feel so amazing. So, um, I did that this morning. That was my my positive feed and um, I went ahead and took a shower and you know, I was dancing, I was doing my body rolls, you, you know you know what I'm saying, doing my body rolls. And um, I also, um, I just looked at my, uh, my post from this morning that was supposed to be last night, I don't know what happened, I put my phone down and it never got posted. My affirmations that I posted this morning on MK Golden Touch, um, I looked at those and you know, uh, I'm feeling inspired um, and then um, for as far as goal setting I definitely um, thought about some things that I'm going to be doing pertaining to this video um, I'm thinking about planning planning some weeks ahead because I'm thinking about how I really do have a lot of value to offer and I want to make sure that I get that out and um, so with the Black History Spotlight for today, and you guys are going to totally understand why I had to do a Black History Spotlight today. I get so excited when the mail comes and I see this name on the mail. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. I get so excited. Um, so, um, I'm going to tell you what that is. But, um, but yeah, so, um, let me, t let me do this real quick. So I have the Mary Kay Last Love lengthening I had this is exactly what I wore yesterday um, I did tell you guys about it but you never saw it because my daughter came in here and messed it up and I had to restart the whole video and then I have rich spice which is kind of brown kind of sparkly I kissed my son on the forehead before he took a nap and after he took a nap I have to post that video I'm gonna post it on the um, on their on their page on their story so go ahead and go to the link that says Casey Tiny Official and look at the story and you're going to see my son's <laughs> glitter eye. Um, horrible. I usually take the this stuff off before I, I lay down, but um, I didn't yesterday. So, Black History Month Spotlight. These usually don't take very long to read. I'm so excited. So, the spotlight for today is my auntie. Apostle B. Sims, I miss her so. 2020 just, you know, kind of jacked up our whole connection. I spoke to her while I was in Vegas last summer. Um, and, you know, um, then shortly after I had made the decision to just run to Texas. But, um, um, so I'm going to read this real quick. Some of you, 
if you um, know Apostle B, some of you be getting these. And I noticed while I was in Vegas that she sends different, it's not, she's not just sending out, boom, one thing. Because both Bonnie and I, my cousin Bonnie, we both got one in the mail, like the same week, and it was completely different. So the Bible and your health. Bear with me, because I did not pre-read this. So I might have a little, mm, 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 okay? And, and again, shout out to Gemini, Gemini Naturals because I got the purple rain sprinkled all up in the hair. You know, saying, saying. Um, okay, a peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. This is called the Bible in your health. I cannot remember if I said that already. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Proverbs 1430 NLT. NLT is my favorite version. Um, anyways, in the last half century, doctors have come to understand and emphasize the correlation between mental and physical health. Yet the Bible talked about it over 3,000 years ago when King Solomon gave us these four Proverbs. I miss reading for Aunt B in Bible study. It's been so long, at the way before 2020, I stopped going to Bible study, but anyways. Okay, these four Proverbs. I don't think I'm going to stop anymore. I'm sorry. One, a peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Two, a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. Proverbs 15, 30. These are all national, um, not national, New Living Translation. Number three, kind words are like honey sweet to the soul and healthy for the body proverbs 16 24 number four a cheerful heart is good medicine but a broken spirit saps a person's strength are we talking about depression or what okay <laughs> proverbs 17 22. these scriptures could be summed up like this a faith-filled attitude Focusing on what's good instead of what's bad. Laughter, the ability to rejoice, hallelujah. And spoken words of encouragement have a profound effect on your health and the health of those around you. That's so true. What's the antidote for stress? What is it? What is it? Put it in the comments. What is the antidote for stress? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Y'all not gonna comment. I'm waiting for y'all to just really just listen to me and comment when I say comment, but it's cool. Somebody gonna do it one day. What's the antidote for stress? Serenity. What's the remedy for fear? Faith. And where do serenity and faith come from? God. David was in bad shape when he wrote, I beg the Lord for mercy, saying, what will you gain if I die, if I shrink into the grave? Psalm 38 through 9. We don't know whether he was stressed out mentally or if he was physically ill, but God intervened. And later in the same Psalm, David wrote, you have turned my mourning into dancing. You have clothed me with joy that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. Verse 11 through 12. There's no doubt about it. Your thinking has a profound effect on your health. Have a happy, healthy, safe, and prosperous new year. I'm guessing that, um, I've been trying to get this to me for a while. <laughs> Okay, so, whew, I got hot. <laughs> I got hot reading that. Um, thank the Lord. Okay, I still have time. I'm gonna, um, so in the link, the link in my bio, I have a link to my new Facebook. I deleted, um, no, I'm sorry, I didn't delete my Facebook. I'm waiting for one to, I'm waiting to be able to transfer um, <clears throat> the admin role of one more Facebook page over from my old Facebook to my new Facebook, but I am deleting that old Facebook page because 
I, there are reasons and I'm still not ready to explain all the reasons um, but by the time before this 100 day challenge ends my that Facebook will be deleted and um, and you'll know why so basically if you go to that link Facebook um, I, I think my page is public I'm, I'm still working on the, the you know the optimization of that page however I posted a video on my motion of unity page um, our motion of unity page you know <laughs> my girls um, my motion of unity page and I shared it on this page so follow the motion of unity page um, for lots of um, dancing praise dance videos uh, but I posted one and in it I said where does peace come from I promise you when I shared that video on my Facebook like yesterday or the day before I my, my caption was where does peace come from and I thought about that when I was reading it she said where does serenity and faith come from none other so um, definitely I want you guys to um, stay tuned I won't be talking about depression for much longer or maybe I'll talk about depression for the rest of the time but I definitely want to um, get you guys ready for um, VBS just listen to what I say in or I think I'm gonna post that video first so I'm gonna say listen to what I said in the link in bio video which is the part one to today's day 25 video the million bio video listen to what i say about vbs so i'm getting you guys ready for vbs and um you know <laughs> i'm just gonna just gonna let look vbs is happening Texas. I don't know if I'm being California. I don't know if it's going to be here. I don't know if it's going to be person to person. I don't know if it's going to be hosted by my church. I don't know if I'm just going to do it. Um, but anyways, BBS is happening. So um, if you want biblical strong biblical content and um and just you know fun stuff worship and healthy things this summer for your children let me know dm me put it in the comments let me know because vbs is happening i'll put you on the mailing list and i'm gonna do it just like i did it last year if if that's what god wills but it's happening um so I know it's, it's kind of a touchy subject but moving on thank you aunt b thank you by the way she loved vbs last year so you know hop on and um so thank you so much i love getting so from you um and you know i'm gonna i'm gonna continue i i said some things in the last few videos that i said i was going to do i'm gonna have to go back and look at those videos that i because i made those promises and i'm gonna have to keep them i know i said i was going to talk about forgiveness i know i was going to talk about niche um niche niche um yeah one of these days i'm actually gonna paint my nails i have not painted my nails since since that video <laughs> that i was taking my nail polish off that was like day three or something so i will um my nails is rough i'm gonna do those and yeah so hug me do you feel it i'm hugging you <laughs> i sound like my daughter oh my gosh um yeah take care and god bless you and i love you and i hope that you have a beautiful day do not let depression get you okay okay be filled with peace and faith and love and all things beautiful okay only think on true thoughts okay you're the head and not the tail you are an overcomer all right you gotta believe it i love you